I am here. Uh, Sun Soul, welcome. Welcome. Uh, I just wonder if soul, the meaning of soul is the soul of the person, uh, the spiritual side of the person, and the soul of the sun. Uh, what's the connection? Why do, they, do we have the same word in English? Yes. There is the connection so that you will think of the soul. But soul actually means sun. Uh -huh. The connection between the words is incidental. Oh. But very helpful for some to remember that the soul is a fire. Uh huh. Hmm. So, how do you feel this um, period of time? This time period is difficult. Uh huh. Things are slower and more immediately difficult. Uh -huh. I am slowed down and not able to act in an appropriate way at this time. I feel like there is disease within me, but oh, that wow. is not true. Huh. But it is a cycle that I go through but it's not my favorite time. How long is the cycle in uh, human years? In human years, perhaps a decade. I see. So uh, how much of uh, interactions do you have with other consciousness? I have beings within me. Right. Just like Mother Earth has beings upon her. And the interaction is with them. Who are they? They are fire beings. Ah. In what, in what uh, term are they fire beings? What term? I mean, I'm a chemist. For me, fire is oxidation. I don't think there is much oxidation within you. So what kind of fire is that? Yes, there is little oxidation here. The beings are live within the heat. Uh-huh. You would call them fire beings, but they uh -huh. are actually just heat beings. Okay. Um, I just remember that in, the, in, um, in uh, Ramayana, yeah, in Ramayana there were fire demons, but I don't think these are the same. No. These are not demonic creatures. Uh-huh. They are actually very positive uh -huh. and have been around for millennia. Right. So what's their business? They have their own lives just uh -huh. as you do. The thing is they have a different kind of life 
than you would, could possibly imagine. They are not corporeal, uh -huh. but they move in patterns, All right. one with another, uh -huh. to continue to exist in a positive realm. Helium molecules, hydrogen molecules, they find them as food. I would correct. I don't think that it's called molecules in, in science. I think it's nuclei. Because Whatever they, you call it. Yeah. Uh huh. They feed on these things. Okay. So, uh, what's happening on your surface? Uh, I think the surface is very important. What's happening there? Sun spots are at a low point. Uh huh. At this time. Uh huh. They were very active not long ago. Uh -huh. But now, they have calmed down and are not as present. Right. The surface it is actually hotter now than it was. Yeah, when we look at the... Yes. But when I look at the videos of your surface, it seems like it's a very organized structure. So I was thinking maybe it works as a surface of, of our uh, brain as a, some sort of the, that uh, surface area is more involved in, um, in thinking than any other parts. Like a neural net. Uh-huh. Or like you would think of some portions of the brain. Yes, that could be relevant. Um, so how much of alien activity is on in, in you and outside of you? There is some. There are more heat beings than you are aware of, mm -hmm. but there are also neutrino beings which can pass through anything. Right. And they are friendly beings and also can stop and have conversation. Right. The neutrino beings are very small. The smallest uh -huh. of the elements that uh -huh. you know of. <laughs> but they are in great numbers traveling the universe. Wow. Um, are you talking to the other stars? Yes. And uh, how much of, uh, of your attention is on, uh, on other stars? There are many other stars that hold life. Right. It's not the same as what I hold. For some are brighter and some are less bright. Uh -huh. And the beings are different and have evolved differently. Mm -hmm. But I can speak to other suns quite easily. So do you exchange some resources with them? Information only. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. And conversation. Uh -huh. Just like Mother Gaia may speak to Lady Venus. All right. What's your relationship with the Creator? 
like all beings, we see him and her as pure energy and are grateful for being created. Do you have a history of your family or something like that? Family. I am not part of a family uh -huh. in this realm, but uh -huh. when I leave this realm, I do have a family uh -huh. in my soul realm. Uh -huh. My friends are other systems of stars and therefore that is my family uh, so when when uh, when um, you leave your body uh, are you going to incarnate as another star or what's the plan for you if you can share that i do not know where my next life will be. This one is not complete. And I right. enjoy this job, but not all phases that I go through, just right. as you go do through different phases in your body. Um, can you tell me where the moon came from? The moon uh -huh. my understanding was that it came from the earth. Ah. It is not artificial. Ah. As some would have you believe. Ah. These theories are false. Oh really? Uh-huh. I see. Uh, so, um, you know, our life is de depends very much not only on your light, but also on your solar cycles and some other processes which you don't understand. So how much of that do you do consciously? Like how much of your attention is to our uh, civilization? I do what is natural to me. Your society exists because I exist. Right. But I have no control over my functions as a son. So you don't pay much attention? I do at times. If there is danger, I will try to warn ahead of time. Oh, right. But say if there is uh, too much heat or too little heat or too much light or too little light, would you change your uh, uh, release of light just to help us? I change little, but I can control some things a little bit, but it is like your body. You uh -huh. can control some things, but not others. Yeah, we have friends which are um, blue avians and golden triangles. I think they are of the high level of technology, so they possibly could uh, adjust the brightness of your surface to help Earth to be in optimal condition. Does it happen? The Venusians have created some things. The people within me have not. Uh huh. But other species will help you because they are positive beings. Uh, are you used as a as a 
place for uh, human looking aliens just to to live on your surface or under your surface there are human looking aliens on my surface uh-huh but they are protected from right. me right and do they use you as a portal there is portals around the sun right my existence creates portals right mm -hmm. so uh in addition to our dimension you likely have a different uh, uh uh you exist and your attention possibly is in many other dimensions right i am interdimensional yes uh-huh just like gravity is interdimensional right so is there a how uh, circling around you is there what terra ha the future earth is it also circling around you or is it another another star it is around earth right now and other uh -huh. places uh -huh. because earth is a div we has many dimensions uh -huh. and when you reach terra ha you reach a different dimension with different properties mm -hmm. and different existences that are able to be reached uh huh but would it be uh would the star be the same would it be you or some other star in terra ha it would be me but you would see my fourth dimensional side how do you look in the fourth dimension beautiful all right yeah i do i i'm right now in the place where i come uh, uh for the sunset and i do the meditation on during the sunset yes and a few times i was able to see the green uh green light but i don't think you care it's just an optical phenomenon but but oh. i uh that's my connection uh, to you pretty uh how do you say respected by me i i do that with uh, much of uh uh spiritual upliftment yes and do you uh, feel it do you I, feel it what some of our tribes are uh uh praying to you as god and uh, all our churches are oriented to you in some way I send those prayers off to the energy which is God. Oh, I see. They will learn after this life that they exist in other realms and other energies. So when you are transdimensional, when you exist in other dimensions, it would be still uh, a star, you would be still a star. Absolutely. My question my question is is there other dimensional appearance of you where you don't look like a star but you are something else like maybe a being or a, an animal or an ocean or anything of that kind i still look like a sphere for uh -huh. i have a purpose in all dimensions and i may not look exactly the same but my function is similar So when you transform out of the star image, is there a life? Uh, is there an, uh, another in, um, physical appearance for you? Like when you become a, a red giant, and then what happens next? I don't remember. You then you become a black hole or something? Uh, uh, is it that the is when life or are if you the sun implodes, if I would implode, right? I would become a black hole. Right. I would fall. I condense upon myself uh -huh. and the weight of my existence would be very small and I would be able to crush large objects into very small particles right 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 so is it, is it still life right you would still function as a living being yes so it's just a transformation like from uh caterpillar to caterpillar to a butterfly or something like that something of that nature 
So you don't die then, you continue functioning. I do not die unless I supernova, and then I become something different. Oh, and then another soul incarnates, or is it the same soul? Another soul will incarnate, but I will go to the oversoul. Oh, I see. So the stars are clustered in oversoul in a different area than uh, human beings, right? So we won't interact directly. Correct. But here we interact directly, we see your light. Correct. Uh, would we be also connected there? Yes. I see. Would you be like uh, shining there for us? Of course. Oh, I see. How does it feel uh, when you shine in the oversoul? I cannot explain that to you. Uh huh. But no. I am, I can change my appearance there where I cannot change it here. I see. I, I'm running out of time, but I uh, have a couple more questions. Can you answer? Do you have a couple more minutes? Does Jim have a couple more minutes? He has about 25 minutes before his next session. Okay. Uh, the questions are simple. Uh, one question is, our solar plexus about the willpower, how is it related to you? Is it really, uh, there is a connection to your energy there? Yes. Uh-huh. I'm a nurturer. Uh-huh. And when it comes to planning and future thoughts, I am there in the solar plexus to give growth to those things. Uh-huh. Thank you. That makes sense. And another question was, uh, your relationship with time, do you exist in time? Not in the time that you live in, but a time separate from all time. Ah. But do things happen, uh, like, say, in our, um, in our life, there are events. And the biggest events is, like, creation of planets and moons. And they happen in order. And then one of the biggest events in solar system was the destruction of the planet, which I think was Maldek, and I think it was between Earth and Mars, if I'm correct, or maybe somewhere around. Yes. Uh, so um, do, did you, do you see those events in the same sequence, or for you it is uh, happening all at once? Time is not linear, and so therefore I can see it over and over again. I see. So how do you see our events, also all at once? Yes, but also separately as well depending on how I view the universe at any given time. Right, but for us, our future hasn't been created that yet. So when you speak to me, can you see our future or have you, do you have to disconnect from it to speak to me? I can see your probable future, but oh. not your real future. But when you uh, go back to your normal uh, usual perception, do you see a real future or still you see the pro probable future? Only the probable future can be seen. Oh gosh. So, but the, the past, is it probable past or is it real past? It is the solid past and probable past. For there oh. are parts of it that will never change and <laughs> others that will. Oh gosh, that's interesting, uh-huh. So you see, but for the reality, how many timelines do you see at once? Oh, they're innumerable. So when you look at me, uh, how much can you, how many timelines can you see at once? Like, is it a discrete number or are they also innumerable? Innumerable. Oh gosh. I see, I, it makes sense. That's all I wanted to know. If you like to give a blessing and, uh, before exiting, you're welcome. Mwah, you are...
As you did the bliss and the sun came out. Yes. Good day. Good day. Thank you for coming. You are welcome. Hello? Hey, Jim, welcome back. Hi. He connected uh, from here to the sun. Right. That's pretty interesting. Right. All right, I have to go. I have less than 20 minutes to prepare for the next one. <laughs>